Jeremiah Awusakoromora, or also known as JOK, had a really good rookie season. He was a second round pick who many felt should have been a first round pick, fell due to some health concerns, but really played well when he was on the field and I think showed that the Browns, you know, got really a, a couple of great selections and this was the first one. Let's talk about what happened, starting off with the, this first play. So that's where he is on the field. He's going to be going up one-on-one -on -one against a left tackle, but not in a pass rush situation, obviously, as he is not a pass rusher. He is an off-ball linebacker. Many felt he might be a safety, but I think linebacker is the role that fits him the best, and he showed that in Cleveland. Uh, it's going to be a run to the right side of the screen, so to the offense's left, so in JOK's direction, and watch what's going to happen here. Right when this play begins, you're going to see that, okay, uh, Jason Peters, uh, who, you know, actually wasn't that bad last year. A lot of people, like, made fun of that, but, like, he was actually like, solid last year. But anyways, uh, you see Peters is going out to block uh, JOK in a situation where, I mean, this is definitely a tough spot for an off-ball linebacker. I mean, uh, offensive linemen, especially offensive tackles, love to kind of annihilate linebackers sometimes in this situation. This is a mismatch. It definitely is. But watch how JOK is going to kind of use his shiftiness in his hands to get over and be able to avoid that block and make a tackle. That's a really good play by Jeremiah Awusa koromora and the fact that he can do this is really going to help out a ton in the running game. If you don't feel comfortable having an offensive lineman block a linebacker, you're going to be in trouble. Not to say that he won every single matchup he went up against against offensive linemen, but that just kind of goes to show that like this is a guy who can really help you out. I think especially on plays like this, where what's going to happen here is it's kind of a you know very typical running play where you're going to have the center go up to block a linebacker. This is a very, uh, you know, this is a common situation that you will, you know, do in the running game. Right when this play begins, you notice how, again, it's not bad positioning or anything, but really when there's this much open space, Awusa Koromora does just such a good job at using his footwork to be able to get around guys when he has this much open field. Watch him sidestep the center, gets over, and again, helps make the tackle there. So these kind of things are what he does relatively consistently, actually. It's not like these are, you know, wild things that I've found one or two good examples of. Like, he does this a pretty decent amount. And there's also stuff like this. I thought his coverage was pretty good. I did not think that he was a bad coverage linebacker, which a lot of times these, you know, it's just such a gamble when you draft a linebacker of how they're going to be in coverage. But his coverage was good. I would still say his run defense was better, but his coverage was certainly good for a rookie. And this is going to be an example of it, where you see where he is on the field. He is the one who I've circled in white, and the zone he's covering is the one that is in white. Uh, you have a halfback who's going to run out to the flat, and this can be kind of tricky sometimes in quarters coverage. This is what the Browns typically did. Cover two, cover four was primarily what they were doing. Uh, so, you know, cover four here just means two safeties deep, but also the two corners are going to, you know, have a conscious effort to be further deep as well, meaning, I mean, you can see how this route just on the screen can get to sort of an open field in no man's land. So Usa Kuramura might be the closest guy to make that play. But look at how right when this play begins, I think he does a pretty good job at reading it and realizing what's happening. But again, this is tricky. And listen, you know, there's tricks you can do to know what's going to happen. You're not just standing in your zone until someone comes in. You're reading the play. You're figuring out, you know, how many receivers are on your side of the field. Uh, you know, all that good stuff. But still, a, a correct read. And now he has to get over and try to make a play because, you know, the halfback still does have... You, you, look, you look at who's closer to the sideline, it's the halfback. So there is a bit of an angle there that is in the offense's favor. However, you see a Wusa Koromora do, do a great job of getting over as quick as possible and limiting that gain. You'll kind of take those plays all day, really, uh, if you're the Browns defense. And that's kind of how the Browns defense is defined, is, you know, designed, is to not give up anything big. They'll get let you take these small plays because if you're trying to get five yards every play, eventually you're going to screw up on one and then you have to get a third down or you're screwed. I also want to go over here and talk about this now because it did to some degree feel like when the Browns drafted uh, Jeremiah Awusa Koromora, uh, to some degree it felt like this was a direct uh, decision to help them try to defend Lamar Jackson. Lamar had really lit them up the previous year, and so they're trying to see what they can do to hold their own against him, as the Ravens were considered their biggest threat heading into the season, which is funny because those two teams ended up being the ones that didn't make the playoffs in that division. But I still think, you know, heading into the season, 
it was probably smart to put your money on those two teams. And so for Jeremiah Usakoramora, the way this play works is it's going to be a, a quarterback draw, which, you know, these are deadly plays for the Ravens to run. Uh, having a quarterback draw and having it be Lamar Jackson, it's just unfair because you see how they can block. The only guy who can really get into the play is Jeremiah Usakoramora anywhere close to the middle of the field. But the issue, of course, is that he also has to pay attention to the receiver who he's lined up against. So, this is tough. Right when this play begins, you see how, again, Owusu Koromora actually is doing a lot right here. I know it looks like he's far away, but he has to make sure he's covering the receiver. But, this, but he reads the play, I think, pretty quickly. Watch him get over and do a good job of being able to help make that tackle. Again, he wasn't the only guy. I thought that a couple players did a good job at getting in and being able to make that play on Lamar Jackson, but it just kind of shows the ground he covered and the awareness he has, which is just perfect for this Brown scheme, especially because if you want to play two safeties deep against uh, the Ravens, you have to have some linebackers who can make some plays for sure, and really, you probably shouldn't do it too much against the Ravens regardless. And like, finally, just one more play. Uh, you're going to see where he is on the field. Watch what happens. I mean, look at him be able to read the play quickly, break in quickly, and get over and make a tackle. Again, uh, direct uh, you know, perfect kind of matchup against the Ravens and does a great job against them, but he does a great job against anybody. It's not like he can only come into the field against the Ravens for sure. I think that there's a lot he can do, and, you know, he's been a, certainly a hit when you watch his film in his rookie season. So, yeah, I mean, one thing I feel pretty strong about when it comes to Jeremiah Awusakoramora. Uh, a, very fun name to say, have to say, Awusakoramora, having a good time with that one. Uh, but what I was really going to say, say is, this is kind of a good example of why Historically, when a guy like drops is in, is considered a steal, where someone who uh, many people felt like was going to be a first rounder but ends up getting drafted in a late you know late in second round, a lot of times when that happens, uh, that player ends up actually being you know more of a second round talent than a first round talent. It turns out. Uh, but the exception is when it's due to health concerns or injury concerns. That tends to be a scenario where you do get some legitimate steals when you do that. And so you see this with Jeremiah Usakoromora. So who knows? Maybe you'll see it with uh, some other guys that, you know, uh, get drafted later on and that kind of stuff. But I think that, you know, it's just a good example of why you take chances like this. And also, I mean, he, he's just really good. A lot of people feel like he could be like a top 10 pick just in general last year. So, you know, when you're getting that kind of talent where you got him, it's just such a, you know, great pick because you also got Greg Newsom who looks really good. So the, for the Browns, I mean, this has just been an awesome uh, draft so class so far. And uh, Usa Koromora just does so many things well, and he's just electric to watch. So that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.